Oh yeah, we're rolling. That's we're fine. talking about your boy Dalton, who yeah. went to Iowa. Iowa. He was yeah, no, a white linebacker. wide receiver, number three. He was Sam linebacker. Sam linebacker. Our first okay. Jack. Oh uh, yeah, walk on. Of course. Right. Our Sidewalk. first off season, he was driving his moped in traffic. Looked to the side, ran into the back of a minivan at thirty five miles an hour. Ruined it. Ended his career. What he oh, hurt? No shit, Dalton. Yeah, Dalton. And he used to like oh, I saw him in the hospital better than like the next day, and like he couldn't move. His whole shoulder was just done. Like he tore everything in his shoulder. He's on like stem cells and all that stuff, but like he never played again. No oh way. My God. That was crazy. Dude, yeah, it he, looks fantastic now. Yeah, he does. He's lucky he hit a minivan, not a Chevy Silverado. But, if he had a Chevy Silverado, been like a cement, you've been done. No, no, like he, he, they had like a photo of the minivan and like his, it was like his whole body was just through it. It was crazy. Was he knocked out? Was he incapacitated? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wild oh. stuff. I know, should I have him on the show? Tell a story. Dalton, shout out. I know, shout First out Dalton. Cause he's like, hey, do you know the Fishers? Like, uh, cause Cole, did you play with us? Yeah, Smells yeah him so and Cole weird. are boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He was like, yo, I roomed with him. I was like, yo, I roomed with his brother Sean, and we were just out there chubbing. I was like, oh, nice dude. Yeah, stud. Nice Fishers, dude. great family. He's linebackers. No matter what school you go to, you guys are all friends. Yeah, basically. yeah, boys. yeah. Especially kind of like the online community is also, and how you've grown the tight end community. I don't know how it was before you got there, but it seems like you guys are a close knit group of guys. Sure. Before you say anything, Minnesota. Because we're rolling this thing right now. Should we talk about Chevy Silverado? We have one on the bus right now. We have a durable, reliable vehicle on the bus. Football season is over. That doesn't mean we're going to stop rooting for our favorite team. That team is Chevy. It's franchise player, the Silverado, a truck with unstoppable grit and George determination. Kittle. And George Kittle. According to JD Power, Chevy trucks have earned more new vehicle quality awards than any other brand. And that is some serious hardware. Head over to Chevy.com to learn more. Silverado, as strong and dependable as the people who drive them. For JD Power 2022 U.S. award information. Visit jdpower.com slash awards. It's getting to the point where we don't have to read that anymore. We did it. Impressive. I know. We did it from the hip the other day. You d yeah. And you're crushing it too. Like it's. Thanks, dude. I've been reading a lot more. It's not yeah. about me today, though. It's about fucking George Kittle, dude. The <laughs> there's legend. A, been reading a lot. There's a lot to unpack with George Kittle. Yeah. And I'm a little. Let's talk about it, boys. I'm uncomfortable because, I, you know, I, I consider us friends. We are. Nice shoes, by the way. Yeah, you look you. you look cool, but you always kind of you look you always look cool. Yeah. Um. And right now I'm trying sometimes to be cool, cool of how to like operate this. Sometimes, sometimes too cool. Sometimes let's, too cool. Let's start at square one. Okay. All right, let's, square one. let's talk about it. Let's the, talk about it. The Drake Show. Oh, Drake, was no, it Drake? No, it wasn't. Drake? That wasn't. That's Fred what Warner. What was Fred Warner? You had to go and get your uh, your passport yeah. information. What did I do? I texted you. You didn't text back. Was this in oh. Was this in Scottsdale? This is in Scottsdale. But but you take. I did text what, you guys. This back. Actually, this was this actually, like before the Fred show or something? Like that? You, no, you, you were doing something and you didn't yeah. get out until late. I would, dude, I was I was working twelve hours. I didn't days know that was a relax. thing. Hey, I didn't, know that, I didn't know that was, was a thing. Really, right was, there. That's a grind every I week. It was, you know, I think in this situation, I'm just trying to add on as I much know, as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I show up to Scott's and they say, "Here's your five next five days from eight a.m. until we talking. We talking Pete? That's what who does it? Pete? Because I saw Pete now. Yeah, he's everywhere. He's he has like eight guys down there though. Pete is the man. Pete's good people. Who's Pete? He's one marketing, he's a marketing guy. Yeah, and he like runs the show, and he's like he's he's, he's an A plus he worker. Yeah, thank you. He would like that though. Just go by Pete. He should just go by Pete. Mm. Pete Raskin though, he fucking rips. Mm. That's his New deal. Yorker, he's too. an A plus worker. All right, he's a, stud. He, he's a grinder, and yeah. that's who we'll, we'll get to know him too. What, okay, so let's, in you. Let's yeah, we should unpack this because uh, it's the only way for me to truly feel comfortable during this episode. I okay. respect that. Do you I want, want you to do you want to narrate it? Would you like me to chime in? How do you want to do? I'll say what I'll say what happened. And then you can say it. what you, what happened just, for you. There are but several I am things start that happened. The, beginning. the Fred Warner thing, we'll call that a wash. I don't know what we were talking about with the Fred Warner. That well, we wanted you to co-host the episode. You could, it being, didn't work. Yeah, it just it didn't, didn't work. Just didn't work. I would I would have loved to be on the show that day and just completely roasted him in front of everybody. But I won't do that. And he had guy. a lot of great things to say about yeah. you. I know he did. Because you're never against coming on. You're never against coming on the show. No, he's a boy available. I know. I know. I know. I'm ready. I love this. You are. Yes, absolutely. Do you guys have a water I could drink by chance? Yeah. Your water, no problem. And thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so thirsty. No, no, dude. Hey, two of those waters. You want water too? I'll take water. Three, three of those waters. There's one right behind you, and by the tequila. way. Tequila. Hey, I got one already, Jack. That's all right. Bring three. I'm um, sorry. Let's start this. Okay, so the Fred Warner thing happened. It's a wash. I did. Now I don't know if this has to do with Jeffrey Star because of what happened later in that evening, but <laughs> no. Will and I were uh, headed to the Drake party. Yes. And at Scottsdale Airport. It was in a hangar. Very cool. We think we have passes to get on the list or to get inside. That should be no problem. There's going to be a bunch of, you know. Oh, guys. No, I thought there was going to be a, a bunch of general pop and then a bunch of people that were on the list. That's why I thought it worked it. as well. Yes. I'm sure everybody thought that. Yeah. So, I also showed up two hours late. Did I, you show up two hours late? I was the latest person possible. Now, shall we jump to, shall we jump to him? Sorry. Shall we jump yeah. to his late arrival? 
Yeah, no, sure. Today? We're standing outside of the gate. Yeah. And we're, 100%. We're, we're, you guys we're, were Shane. I saw you guys. Hang I was on, sitting in the on, car. Hang on. Go. I love your energy, by the way. I'm, You're on yeah. 10 right now. We're, we're even... A lot of pre-workout this morning, boys. <laughs> yeah, he's at 400 milligrams of whatever, dude. We're, uh, we're, with, we're with Shane Gillis. Shout out the boy. Good and boy. Uh, our little crew. And we had a crew. Like, I get it. How many people? It, it was definitely a numbers game. Me, Will, but Shane, you, Mark. you don't know that at first. I did not until I saw you guys. Christian C Mac, the boy Christian that we had just met that day. That's that not day. a boy people. like you. He's great people. Great he's, people. He's calling, trying to figure out how we can all get in because it is. It's a mob outside of this gate to get Which, in. Which, by the way, you feel fucking disgusting when you're sitting out there trying to get in. We thought we were just going to walk in. And yeah. It's a very like George. That's what I thought I was going to do. George, as we're figuring all this out with Christian and Shane, he's like, hey, I know we'll, we'll get in here. Cameras with the Jeffree Star stuff are going on. George text or calls and we get on the phone and he's like i saw you i saw you i was in a car I, a did, car, I was not gonna go stand me. out there and i was like i watched yeah. you guys walk in and i was sat in the car i was in the car for 30 minutes and i go yeah we're about to go in i think we're trying to get directed to some door i don't know if it was text or a phone call i think it was a phone call and this then uh, new information to me i didn't know this like i see you, i'm like oh come join like well, i think we're about to get in blah, I, like, blah, blah, we're, I think we're yet. on the phone with uh with christian and because you know teammates george and uh, george gets out of the car we see the boy George. Yeah. Just was on the phone a minute ago. A 100%. minute ago. And Will, Will goes, Will literally puts, he goes, there's George. There's, there's, he is. there's the boy. He goes, go. So I start doing the fucking scooch through. For sure. Through people, excuse me, pardon me. I, I know George. Team. I know you, you try, like, it was a numbers game there. But, but. But. Us being on the phone, a minute ago, and you walk in, like, there's the boy George. And we're, George is, like, getting escorted, and we're like, hey, I'm like, hey, just get right here. Right. We're going in, and then this is where so you George, feel your thing. So, George is holding the gate or with the security guard holding yep, the gate, looking yep, down. Yep. He's going, this person, this person. And then he peeks with it. He gets a peripheral on me and he goes, Oh, we all make eye contact. And then he points contact. to the person right in front of me and goes, this is the last person right here. Bro. And that person walked through. It's 100%. Now, listen, no, it's 100% no, what listen. happened. It's 100% what happened. As, happened. That happened. As the gate 100% what happened. Dude, I'm looking at George and I just go, Taylor and I standing I go, at the I go, gate. I go, Georgie. He goes, <laughs> and the gate's closing. And he just goes, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> and we walked away. I think I said, George, it, it's me. <laughs> it's me, Will. <laughs> Literally, the game closes. It's the scummiest feeling I've ever had in my life. I felt. Taylor walks up to me and goes, I hate this so much. I was like, <laughs> I go, bro, that was brutal. I go, brutal. we were just on the phone. I'm bro, like, and at the end of the night, you're leaving with your crew to you go, oh, you made it in as you're walking by. And I'm thinking, I am a fucking pedestrian out here, dude. What a terrible feeling oh, this day is. Oh, dude, no, that was a joke. No, but that's exactly what happened because I'm sitting in the car and it's a cash app event. I'm a cash app, at, cash app athlete. Congrats. And I had, oh, it was awesome. Josh, shout out sick. Josh Allen. He got me the connection. Awesome. Okay. That is Josh on the boy. Um, remember when he came on here and was so hungover, he had to leave the bus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we had to stop halfway through. And he had that was to go, amazing. Willie was saying, yeah, it's oh, was a big deal. So I was in like, I was in conversations with Cash Up like 30 texts for the last like five days before that. And they're like, you have to have a complete set number and you can't have one extra person after this. So like, they're like, you have 10 tickets and I gave him 10 names. And they're like, that's all you can do. And then my marketing guy, Pete, the boy. Uh, he, cause he was sudden. the one rallying and it's like, there he is. That's the guy. No, so like the, we got there man. and I, like I said, like, they said, don't show up any later than 10 o'clock. I showed up, I'm pretty sure, like 1130, because they're like, Drake's not going on until 1. Also, why do people not go on until 1 o'clock? Oh, that's, that's such a Vegas thing. So that's, that's, hey, bro. That's so dumb. Thing. Let's just go on at like 1030, and then let's have a night afterwards. Yeah, nine, bro. Yeah, like, what are we doing? Anyway, so we get there, and I'm sitting in the car, because I'm not getting out. And also, that was one of my very, like, first experiences with, like, hardcore paparazzi. That was really and just, I mean, that was listen, weird. And you then, get the text too, like 10 people, like this is a yes, great concert. Like absolutely. it is madness. I'm more just happy we're having the conversation. Oh right yeah, now. no, 100%. You're at me since February. And yeah. so Claire is on, my, she was on my back and she's pushing me and Pete's in front of me and he goes, 10 people, count them out. And I get to 10, I look at Taylor and I'm just like, I'm so sorry. Like there's, Dude, I look at you there's like a puppy nothing dog I can do. I can't do anything. Oh, and George and like, like, what the fire, no, and there? also as soon as we got there, the fire marshal, they shut it down. And that's why I asked you then tonight, oh my gosh, you got in. Yeah. Because they told me I was the last 10 people that got in. They're like, no one else is allowed to even come in the show. Oh, brother. So that's what they, they told me. And I was like, well, that's just super inconvenient away. for all of the boys. And I apologize. And hopefully in the future, we can all just go in together from the start. The yeah. next day, it was either the next day or within the next, the next, yeah, true. Yeah, the next few days. Let's go. George texted something and I, like we can look, but I was just like, uh, are we not going to talk about what happened? He goes, 
Hey, it's time to get over that. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> no, oh. no, I have no control. Like alpha oh, move. We're still talking about that. I think it's time to get over that. I was just like, okay. <laughs> Damn, bro. I was do you on, need hats? I was on a heater after that. <laughs> that was funny. Do you yeah. need hats? Can I have a hat, please? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you need me to send the merch? Yeah. I think oh, that was, you guys are brutal. That was one of the. That was a very. Like, I hate situations in my life. Letting people down is top three, one of the worst feelings bro, you can ever feel, especially yes. as a boy, especially when you're on a football team. Letting someone down, you're just like, I have failed. That's just yeah. a person. Yeah, and dude. so that was a very, that was a terrible moment for me. But we can move past that. We can. And then, and like. You guys got in. We, we did. did. We got, and also. It, it was it was the phone call. It's like, hey, how's it looking out there? I'm like, it's absolute chaos. But I think we're about to find a door and get in. And I'm no. like, you could probably roll with us. And he's like, okay, I'm pulling up. or I can see you. I'll come find you. <laughs> There's George. That's it. Uh <laughs> I love hey. you. I'm so sorry, yeah. Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, dude. I, I, it's, it's, I am it's the worst. It's your analogy, dude. The zombie apocalypse. And we're all just trying to get in oh, to get the vaccine exactly or whatever what, we need. Yeah. Exactly literally, what it is. You yeah. looked at me and closed the door knowing I'm about to get attacked by zombies. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to <laughs> yeah, die yeah, here. Yeah, you're going down. Like, hey, you looked me in the eyes. You, you can the last defend yourself. You looked me in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't want to look you in the eyes Before either. I died. so bad. Dude, the door was closed. Was, I'm sorry, Taylor. And it fucking closed. <laughs> And I just thought to myself, I got to get the fuck out of here, man. Oh, it was, I got to get me goes, I hate this so much. We were driving, Will and I were I'm, driving home. We actually got in a little argument that night. I forget about what. Is the, is, probably five guys in and yeah. out. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I remember, yeah. And then it, was, like, it was in the morning. One of those things where we were like spatting at each other. And like the next morning, Will's like, hey, man, I apologize. Well, I was like, hey, I'm sorry too. But oh. we left that and we're like, I'm glad we did it. Because I don't think like the next Super Bowl, like next year's Super Bowl, hopefully you're playing in yeah. it. We will not be. Going, going to those. Going to At those. Least you know you did that, and then you can just take it off the and pedestal. And the situation like you had, where yeah. it's like we for sure are going to get put in there. Then I don't. I don't. I don't think it's worth going to. It was it's cool not. to be for me to the boys in the back there seeing Drake. Like that's that was a rad situation. We were super cool. Going off. No, it was, and that was fun. But it's just that's like my <laughs> second concert I've gone to, and the first one I went to was identical to that. Right. Except I had less plugs, and so it was even more of a shit show getting. And I was like, oh, it's not going to be like that because hey, I'm on a list. Dude, it's it felt like same. everyone was, exactly. everyone was like, everyone was we're on, on the list, list too. I, I, I everyone was on the list. We said out loud, hey, we're on the list. And like 10 people behind us like echoing, we're on the list. Yeah, we're on the list. And I'm like, fuck, dude. There everyone, no we're getting like being in this. jail and being like, I'm innocent. <laughs> yeah, everyone's saying the same the list. thing. But seeing him, seeing him perform that that close was pretty dope. That was, yeah. it was very cool. And by the way, you're right. C-Mac is like a boy. Wonderful. Bro, he's all time. Like he starts, we, we, we find each other there and we just start, you know, not dancing together, but dancing. Um, <laughs> He's a fucking stud. He's a homie. He's one of the boys. He's wonderful. He's he, awesome. Um, we were with, before really we were at the Drake thing, we were with Very him at good. the Burt Kreischer uh, show. And Burt has this thing. He already did it with the guys from KFC where one day he's going to call me and Will and say, you have 24 hours to get the spot. Your tickets are already paid for. Mm. And we're going to spend three, four days with him or whatever. 100% should do that. The KFC dudes went to Amsterdam with him. I don't know how you top Amsterdam, but we're with Kreischer. And Chrysler's like, why don't you bring Christian McCaffrey with you? And like, he said that to him and us. And uh, I would love to hang out with Christian. That. What did you, guys I, what have a, you guys would have a great time. response? My response? No. I just well, my no response. When, when he said it, I turned to you. I go, I was like, uh, I don't know if c Max, the guy, like, we've been rocking with George, I feel like. Don't you remember that? Yeah. We're in the, we were in the back room. I don't, but keep going. Because yeah. I was keep, keep talking. You're saying nice things right now, Will. Yeah. No, all I basically said was like... I think George, probably not, but I'm like, you know, I don't know if we could just pass George and just go straight to C-Mac to bring him on the trip. I just tag along. I fit in a suitcase, dog. That's what I'm saying. Nah, dude, you too. When he was talking about the plus one, you know, we were, we were having drills. the boys back, even though we didn't know what was to come that night. That was have, the same night. That was the same night. It was all the same night. Yeah. We'll do All right. Also with that, Christian comes up, he goes, hey, um, I got like eight other guys coming. Do you think you can get him in? I was like, no, Christian, I have no pull here whatsoever, dude. He was like, all right, I'll call my guy. And then he got eight guys in. No way. He's got all the plugs. That's like, awesome. Christian does a guy that stays like low-key dialed in. He's got in. all the plugs. It's like, wonderful. He's good at football. He's an old man. Like, he's, they got it going on over there. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they know what they're doing. While we're sticking on the subject of Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. What's up? Let's talk about the NFC Championship game. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Well, you guys losing 25 quarterbacks in a season and unfortunately losing that game. And then Trent Williams botting a safety. <laughs> and then, I and then I love Trent. you think Brock field. Purdy... If he stays healthy, you guys beat the Philadelphia Eagles. And if you guys beat the Philadelphia Eagles, do you think you beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl? That's probably where I wanted to go with this entire situation. Sure, yeah. Where, let's, where do you want to start? So let's talk about the game. Your confidence going into that game. Obviously, at all times. Off time, the charts? Off the charts. Off the charts. Why would I have any time. doubt? We want, we're on a 12-game win streak. Why would I doubt anything? And you guys are... The only other team that's arguably the best put together in the NFL is Eagles. the Eagles. For sure. 
but you guys were seemed like a just a destiny type of team, a Cinderella type of team. For quarterback sure. gets hurt. Purdy comes in. He slices. No, no, I'm sorry. Cats. Starting quarterback gets hurt. Backup quarterback gets hurt. Then Purdy goes in. Then third quarterback goes which in. Which is wild. And you guys still found a way to win. And so going into the game, you're going to a very hostile environment. Oh, yeah. Fantastic statement to play in. I love how the fans hate everything about everyone that Even comes in there. Team. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, yeah. that's... I don't want every fan to be like that, but it's a wonderful experience. Like, when you do play there, whether you win or lose it, because, like, my rookie year we played there, that was the year that they, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And I think they beat us by 40. C.J. Beathard got sacked so hard by Fletcher Cox. His, his shoe came off. It was awesome. But we got booed out of the stadium. I think we lost by like 40. It was awesome. But then I've won there uh, twice as well. So it's yeah. just like, it's a wonderful place to play. Like it's hostile as fuck, So hostile. Bro. They just they say the meanest things. And I just appreciate them. Even to the women and children that are there. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, it's a great time. So yeah, um, confidence at an all-time high. Um, Did you see the video of Bosa? Joey Bosog walking in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who didn't see that thing? Yeah, that was you know a tough. I mean? Joey. We've kind of gone over a little bit. Big fan of Joey, but that was a tough look for Joey. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> he, like, he lost that battle. Yeah. He did, but at the end of the day, he does not care. And he would say the exact same thing that he said to that guy on the camera. He'd yeah. be like, dude, I, well, I do not care what your thoughts are or any opinions of anybody else around. Yeah, the butt buddies thing was funny. The rich thing is when usually if you if you pull the rich flex on people, that's a tough fucking don't, deal. Don't that's pull, a tough deal. Don't pull the I make $137.5 million or something. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. That. Like, that yeah. something else yeah. when you're laying in bed. The, the like, people in Philly are gremlins. No disrespect. That's just how the world is. They are fucking wild animals. They were egging, egging fans. Hey, Children. Yeah. We pulled, I don't know, have you, have you, you played in Philly, right? Yeah. We pulled in and there was a kid, there's two probably 13 year olds and they had an eight foot tall middle finger cut out cardboard cut out and like they read a crank and then the middle finger comes up no and I'm way on the bus and i saw that and i was just laughing to myself I was like what and they were just laughing too i was like you guys are awesome just, you know, fuck you pussies yeah just 13 year old 13 years old oh their dad's behind so proud like I, I brought up a good boy here yeah. like, there's two dads right behind both drinking a beer i'm just yeah. like oh yeah <laughs> some good. sort of off-brand beer you too guys. so why not go in and play quarterback yourself um. Yeah. No. I'm okay with that. It's alright. Look, the NFL's. Everyone's like, "Oh, why didn't this guy play quarterback? Why didn't this guy get a shot?" The NFL is not high school. You can't just put your best athlete in and just have him run around the edge and just be a dominant athlete. I mean, you can't. And even in college, you can kind of do that. Like, you put a freak athlete back there, he might run for a couple of times. But like, you're not going to beat, like you said, one of the best built rosters in football with a wide receiver playing quarterback. You just like it might. I don't even know what's going to be more competitive. Like, I don't know what we really could have done differently. Sure, like. Juwan Jennings was a wide receiver that was like a top five quarterback in high school. Sure, you could have thrown him back there. Yeah, go Vols. You know, I like that. <laughs> sure, you could have tried that. But like at that point when Josh went down too, he got hurt, our four, our four string guy, and they scored the next drive. So it's 28 to seven. Like the only way you're going to win that game is to throw the ball 40 times. And so like you put Juwan back there. Yeah, I mean, who, who knows? Maybe he throws a deep ball and it gets caught by Debo or Ayuk or something. But like, you're like, there's only so much you can do. And right. then we start running the ball. There's 11 guys in the box. Like, that's what I'm saying. You basically just like oh you run God, the ball. Yeah, what, what are you supposed to do? Bounds, it's like okay, it's just it's just over. Yeah. What are you? When did you mentally admit throw defeat? it? Throw the ball deep. Uh, so whoever's on the roster that can throw that motherfucker deep. <laughs> Sorry. I would say like maybe like eight minutes in the fourth quarter. I know we were down. We didn't score. What was it? I think it would have been like thirty something to tw- seven. I was yeah, like, well, it was tough. The only way you can win is to throw the ball. Brock Purdy's in the quarterback with a, throwing a left handed. Yeah. I was like, I mean, there's, there's nothing you could do. And like, you could kind of like, you could sense, like, I think our sideline kind of when Josh got hurt, the maybe like one drive after that, everyone was just kind of like, well, this is pretty shitty. It's just like, it is it's what it shitty is. Way to go out. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I mean, oh dude. And then like, I, so people were like, you know, you just got to work harder. I'm like, what do you mean work harder? Yeah. There's nothing I could have done. Like me personally, there's nothing I could have done differently in that game. Not a single thing. There's nothing. People are saying you should have worked harder and maybe you would have won the game. Yes. No, you're like, definitely no, not winning. That's the most dumb no, fan is, thing of all time. Yeah, it's n- that has nothing to do with anything. We lost two quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah. You're 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 not winning the game. Period. I just want to see bombs. Like, yeah, like sure. I don't want to see it just an effort. Yeah, it's just you like, know what I mean. I, mean, I was just like, like yeah, Coach you, Shanahan, let me sling that motherfucker, dude. Did, you, just, did you mention to Shanahan that you could throw the ball? No, I have a torn labrum. I can't throw football very well. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm saving it for a screenplay yeah. at some point. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna throw a touchdown at some point in my career. You think so? Yeah, that's the goal. I could see that happening. Wouldn't that be sick? That'd be awesome. You, a touchdown? You scored a touchdown, haven't you? Yeah, but I've all yes, I've scored a touchdown. But also, Not yet, what? but you fucking scored a touchdown. Yeah, I've scored buddy. a touchdown. But I think throwing a touchdown would be dope. Or maybe no, no lineman. Can you imagine an old line reverse pass? Hell yeah, that'd be <laughs> sick. You think throwing a pass would be better than catching one? 
as don't, an O-line. a bomb. As an O-lineman. Or a dart, like, into a real tight coverage. <laughs> you just fucking, yeah, whatever. They say it to me, I see something, I just fucking whatever rip it in the hole. Are you a lefty? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're gross. Oh, whoa, dude. <laughs> oh, no, I'm Have you not, No, like, you're right, but I want to know why you're saying that. You know, lefties die sooner than righties. That's, that's not wild. true. Look it up. Yeah, you can't look that, that up. Dude. No, but, uh. This is not, that's not the play, but this is the game. Oh, we, yeah, we <laughs> Jack has watched this highlight. He's seen the highlight about 32 yeah. times. 13 yards. Look at that. Pulling right, away. Right there's where you start losing feeling how, in your legs. How fast were you, like, in your head, you're like, oh, go on as fast. That was fucking fast. I agree. I'm like, no, in, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. in your head, though, were you, like, run as fast as in I possibly can? In my head, can? I was like, just run as fast as you can. Then I, I didn't feel nobody, so I looked back, and I saw 97. I go, oh, I'm definitely outrunning him. Yeah. I am solid. I got The this. crazy thing about this is the play Look before. Up, Jack. Left we us. called this. We called the same play, and if it was zone, we were going to check it into a run and that's what happened we had to check it into a run so we went and did it and then they ran man the next play they literally kept me back out there because when you report as an offensive lineman yeah you have to leave for a play and so i thought it was dead i was so hyped and then it was dead and i started running back to the sidelines to take a playoff and they go hey go back in there like go and i was like no fucking shit here we go go that's back awesome. on that simple we try to throw trip williams just right there last but, year so looking at 2,000 cases, cases which is saw, like 0. 0.000 percent of the, uh, saw, the nine years, years okay, younger. For everybody that's tuned in, here's an educational piece for you. Yeah. The average age of death from a left-hander was about nine years younger than that of a right-hander. That's from the BBC. That's a inappropriate website. No, that's a that's a very credible website. Yeah, dude, look that shit up. That's a that's a big piece website. Damn, <laughs> that BBC dude. That BBC <laughs> says that dude. Yeah, you guys are wilding out here. What? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. Dude. Oh, false. <laughs> it just says. No, I, don't, I didn't see that. Right there? Oh, so let's believe Snopes. I, I believe Snopes <laughs> yeah. over BBC. Fuck. Why? BBC is a, it's, it's a credible. It really is a credible. It's a credible resource. Yeah. British, the, you can't be credible and not you, know what BBC means. Just because you're horny doesn't make it not <laughs> credible. BBC? BBC News, brother. That shit's fake. Look. Well, that's not at all. <laughs> that's not at all, you think bro. CNN's real? No, I don't know. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait. Oh, CNN? Uh, I don't know if anything is real at this point, dude. Is it not the fucking wildest climate in the world right now? <laughs> uh, it's what is this? Left-handedness, bro. And females die quick. Hey, chill. My mom's lefty. What oh. were I, uh, brother? I hate to tell you, you well, know, you believe this. <laughs> Taylor is as well. Mm. My mom, you're left-handed. Yeah. All say about left-handed. Yeah. When you throw the football, the spin is different. Yeah, it goes yeah, the it other way. It rotates a different yeah, way. It's like yeah. an Australian toilet. Trust me, that's, it's a lot different when you catch it. Really? I, like if you, I can throw right-handed, too. Mm, you're ambidextrous. I am. Why didn't you play quarterback for his dog? For you guys? Yeah, why not? You know exactly I need, why. I needed you for that. My knee couldn't needed that help. I tried to play that in ECI. I needed that I help. needed that, and I thought, oh, knee. That's a good opportunity. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> what does it yeah, come to? Yeah, Kittle called me. Um, this is before he went on. The, oh, we also the day of the Theo Vaughn. The day yeah, of. We will. Yeah, the Theo Vaughn. He's like, hey, you trying we to come we play? From, yeah. You guys, you trying to come play for the 49ers? <laughs> I go, no. Huh. And he's like, why? I was like, because you guys have the best left tackle in the in the history of the NFL. Yeah. And what'd you say? I said, play right, dog. No. Why not? Because I'm not ambidextrous like that. You just said you were ambidextrous. Well, I can I can do things with my right hand. Dude, don't put a limit on yourself, man. Nah, dude. Wouldn't it be cool if you I'm just... I'm a one-trick pony. Wouldn't it be cool if you just came out for one year and you're just like, oh, wow, first-team all-pro right tackle, and then you do whatever you I want to do? I wouldn't after. be first-team all-pro. We'd be like, this is now the reason you want why you guys that didn't win it. You want that mindset. Yeah, I guess you're right in that situation, but no. I'll play... This. I'll be the sixth offensive lineman. That'd be sick. It'd be in great vibes. It would be great vibes. That would be a room. fun locker room. That would be roster, the best locker room. What a to roster to be on. What a super studded roster yeah. to be on. You'd hang out with our... the Tita Power and get a Super Bowl ring with the boys. You'd hang out with our equipment guys all day. They're they're the top. I'll be an people. I'll be an equipment guy. Come out for you the would, beer. You would love throw give me a polo. They're on their they started their beer softball league. They play every Thursday night. I go whenever I'm there for OTAs. It's an absolute riot. Dude, nothing there's nothing like being close with the equipment team. Yeah. Especially when they're awesome. I feel yeah. like the equipment guys are always like the best group of dudes. In an NFL franchise. Majority of the time, yes. I would say. I haven't heard a lot of bad stories about EQ guys. No. Titans guys are great. Uh, the Chargers guys are great. Yeah. They're, it's Because when George uh, got his package, he's like, hey, would you mind shipping a box out for the equipment guys? It's like, oh, they, they are the fucking boys. They were so, so hyped. <laughs> they, they were so hyped, dude. They were, you, him, you know, when I did it for the Raiders, it was like one of those ends, right? You're like, uh, hey, you guys have taken care of us enough. And then you just get them all, give them a whole bunch Hell of Hell yes, dude. What you ought to do. Yeah. yeah. What a feeling. Yeah, they're fantastic. You wanted uh you want to talk about the NFC championship game or do you want to talk about Theo? Your call. Let's not, let's let's stay on track with the NFC championship game. Sure. We got time. We got about what? 
25, 30 more minutes? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we got lots of time. Because mm. you have your curling practice, which we all would love to talk about that. Yeah, but yeah, we, we, uh, yeah it's so, yeah, super fun. You've been so close so many times with the Super Bowl. Yeah, I know. Three NFC Championship games Fuck, in four dude. years. Yeah. One Super Bowl, too. So this one, like, is it defeating it all to you or is it just more, more chip for that shoulder? Mm. Like, I've had people... Like after we lost, we lost against the Rams. Like what, two seasons ago now? But people were like, like we're losing that is worse than losing the Super Bowl. And I was like, I think you're 100 percent wrong. And I still stand by that. I think losing the Super Bowl is 10 times worse because you make it there, but that's an extra two weeks of your season, mm-hmm. of your off season too, and you lose it. And they're just like, well, like what do I do differently? Mm-hmm. Right? Like how much more effort? How much more work can you put in? What did I like? What could I get better at? And you go back and you try to get better and all that stuff. But like losing the championship game still definitely sucks, especially when you lose back the back ones. Um, but being there, you know, it's an awesome experience, but this time, like losing, like when we lost to the Rams, that definitely, that really sucked just because like, it was a close game. We had an opportunity. We didn't seal it. But this time it was like, looking back at that game, like I can watch every clip and I, I would be like, I played a hell of a game. Like there's nothing I would have done differently. Like I ran good routes in the three that I did run. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, I, I played pretty well in the run game too. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do anything bad. And, uh, you know, I opened up a couple lanes. Christian almost broke my ribs one time. It was awesome. But like, it's just, it is what it is. And so like, yes, it sucks because there's nothing I like, I'm just going to go back and start grinding again. Like, Hey, let's get back to work, you know, try to, you know, get back there and this time take the next step and get back to the Super Bowl and take the step after that and actually win it. But it's just more of a, like, are you, are you, are you kidding me? Like, that's like, that's the way this, this, that's the way this is going to go. When you lose three, uh, championship games. Yeah. What? what? Sorry, lost two. We've lost been, two. we won been one the, of them. Won one of them. That's no, right. That's right. The Super Bowl. That's hey, right. Thanks. Right. Come on, man. That's iconic, right. My fault. My fault. My fault. iconic mic'd up of him. He's like, I will be back here. I will, yeah. will be back. No question. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this episode to bring you an addery and that addery it is Duke. Cannon, the boys at Duke Cannon are back on the bus and here keeping everybody looking great and smelling great. Everyone knows the offseason is the best time to put in the work Duke and Duke Cannon makes hard work grooming goods for hardworking dudes. From their thick body wash to their big ass bricks of soap and antiperspirants and deodorants, Duke Cannon has your back and your pits. I'll say it once, I'll say it a thousand times. The cooling, the cooling deodorant, my God, doesn't make you feel good, especially with this heat coming right, right around the corner. It's going to be a nice little deal. Also, Big ass brick of soap, put it in the little loofah sleeve, scrub that up. You're exfoliating and you're getting sudsy. Coal miners face wash. Coal miners face wash. That's what also. I want to throw in there. That's use, the... use code BUSSIN10 at checkout on DukeCannon.com for 10% off courtesy of the boys or pick up your favorite products at your local Target retailer. With that being said, please subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe, all that, all that stuff. Tell somebody about this show and back to this episode. Oh, we'll goes, that shit goes hard. What's Thank the, you. What's the worst headline you feel like you hate seeing coming out of it? Because people talk about Coach Shanahan when he gets to the big game. Mm. Yeah, is people. It quarterback, is it quarterback drama? Like, what's the what's the worst headline you hate seeing? What? Well, just... Getting so close. Um. This one wasn't like as bad. Like again, like and everyone was like kind of crapping on Shanahan. They're like, "Well, you should have put someone else in a quarterback." Again, that was me. Yeah, I know. Again, <laughs> again, like you put your fastest guy back there and just run out. It's like there's not like you, there's it's the NFL. It's not high school and college. Like you can't just put in a great athlete. Like sure, like yay. I would I have loved to see it. Yeah, I mean maybe, but like we're not winning that game after Josh Johnson goes. No, yeah, but no. You, you could do some move the pocket, some Q eight, Q nine. Yeah, that maybe. Type of thing. Thing. it's more of yeah. just the the creative of trying to do it. Because again, even if you put 100%. anybody in there, so you're not winning the game. It's just like why are we just running the ball in double reverse? If you're in that situation, yeah. you literally um, a move the pocket type of pass and go, boys, go crazy. Let's yeah, see what yeah, we can yeah. do. Yeah, I agree. Like so, there there's definitely maybe a couple other things we could have tried. But after Josh got hurt and they scored the next drive and it was twenty to seven, it's just like. The game's not like unless our defense just says uh, we get four forced fumbles and we turn them all. Like there's not much we're doing in that True. situation. Mm-hmm. Like there's just not. Um, it hurts when you're live betting that game too, thinking like you're gonna close some margin, <laughs> try to get some kind of win somewhere. You know what I mean? Like hey, we got to. If you live bet, boys. can you come back and play the following year? Do what? What? If I live bet, can I come back and play the following yeah. year? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, you Why know, not? he's getting calls. Good for Will's you. gotten calls. You should get calls. By calls, one. There's been one. He's gotten call. Thank you. I've gotten call. Yeah. Mm. You've but gotten, uh, you've gotten the call. What's you know, a call. Ah, singular. A. Okay, cool. But singular all call. you need is one, brother. That is usually one team to want you. That's all you need. Get your That's phone all you need. Man. 
But I don't know. And they are contenders. I, I don't know. We, we, uh, as you know, we tried last year, but I was gambling in the season. But at the same time, I was a free agent. Like, I'm not... Yeah, but Kittle texts us all the time about him gambling. No, I don't. Season. Don't put that out, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's not even fun to joke yeah, about. Don't right even put that on me, man. Chill, 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 chill. I'm just joke. saying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> screw you. But, um... No chance. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Would love to try it. We're going to try it and see what fucking I happens. Get, I hope you get a shot, dude. That'd you know be awesome. I can't believe you're going to do it again. last year. I was still fucking hung up on that, but, you know, it is what it is. In your experience getting blown out, yeah, it's almost easier to get over those games than losing close ones. Yeah, it actually, like, is easier to get over those games. Like you can get over if you're getting beat by that many points, eight minutes left, and in your the quarterbacks quarter, are out. You can kind of look, sit there and go, "Hey, it is what it is. We lost." But you miss, you lose one on like a missed field goal. It's like fuck, that pain's there immediately. Yeah, and it doesn't. That one doesn't go away very long. No, that that takes a while. That lingers a little bit. Um, yeah, dude. I don't know. Like it definitely is lingering. I always talk about like when you lose. Um, it's kind of like hits you in waves and like you can't stop thinking about it. And then like the more this time passes on, like waves kind of hit less and it's not as big of a wave, mm -hmm. but there's still waves and it still hits you once in a while and you just go through like a 10 second depression. That's just kind of how it is. But it just comes kind of less and less. And like, I haven't really dealt with that one for, I don't know, over like two months. So like I got over, I got over this one pretty quick because my, my, I just tried to take away what are the great things that happened? One, I had a good season of football. Um, I got to go on an awesome vacation with my wife. And I'm the healthiest has been after a football season. That, it, could, it could be a lot a worse. Win. Yeah. It could be yeah. way worse. And then, like, honestly, like, all I wish is, I just wish Purdy wouldn't, I would have, just in this scenario, especially after, like, John Lynch came out and said, like, Brock Purdy's the leader of the clubhouse. He said that yesterday. Mm -hmm. I just wish that Purdy wouldn't have gotten hurt. And so then I would have gotten a full offseason with him because I haven't had an offseason with a quarterback in three years. Yeah. No shit. When, no shit on, uh, it's very frustrating. I bet. I just want, all I want to do is catch passes from the, I just want to catch passes from Whoever the starting quarterback is throughout the entire season, the offseason. Is he going to be a tight end? You, Purdy? I mean, he can't throw. I, I'll invite him, and he can just come be a vibe. Maybe yeah. he can learn how to throw lefty. Brock, maybe plan ahead this time. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no question. He should definitely. Like, if you want to be the best, you got to prepare like the best. Yeah, I, mean, I see Mahomes toss it left handed once. There's no long. question. I've seen them do a lot of weird things. He's, no he's one. Uh, do you think you guys beat the Chiefs? I, like I said, I never have any doubt in my head going into a football game. So yes, hundred percent, I think we would have beaten the Chiefs. Especially, now, granted, don't get me wrong. I think you guys revenge your ass too. No, don't get me wrong. Me. Don't get me wrong. Me. Mahomes and Kelsey's connection, like the, these last couple of years, has been absolutely silly it's to been watch. Stupid. It's unreal. If you were a defensive coordinator going against the Chiefs, would your game plan not be? I'm going to put an outside linebacker lined up over Kelsey on every play with a guy playing in man coverage behind him and just try to not let him off the line. Yeah, Levante him. David did it straight up in the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Yeah, that's why you, you took you, him out. You have to took him out. Now, granted. Kelsey did finish like over a hundred yards, but like a lot of those were, sure. a lot of those are, you know, when they're down by 20, but it's just like the Patriots are the only team that has ever slowed down Travis at all. Everyone else just like, yeah, our best guy can cover him one-on-one -on -one, or our nickel can cover him one-on-one. -on -one, who's usually like the third best cover guy. Yeah. It he, ain't going to happen. Bro, he's had over a thousand yards, seven years in a row for a reason. Yep. Yeah. Let's just put an average guy on him. It's just like, <laughs> What are people thinking? <laughs> I'm just like even even a good guy like yeah. one on one is just he's, never gonna work. Kelsey's 6'6", 255. Yeah. What what are you gonna you're gonna I don't you can put Darius Slay on him. He's still a still eight inches shorter than like him. Just throw the he's, yeah. Yeah. Very he's unreal. It's just that that's the only thing I've just never understood. I'm just like, wow. Like just double top cover him, maybe. I don't know. But like I'd rather I love seeing Kelsey go off. It's a super fun to see. And I it's really fun just to see like the standard he sets in the wide receiver. I'm just like, holy shit. It also blows me away that he's the twenty sixth highest paid wide receiver in the league. If you compare him to a wide receiver. Yeah, that is crazy. Are there 20 receivers you would take over Travis Kelsey? No. no. Come on, let's fix that, There's guys. probably like seven. I love that. Maybe. I love that. Let's fix Carrying it. the flag for the boy. Yeah. Dude. If you... And like, I, he doesn't need the money. And like, I know that he's like, I don't need money. I just want to win Super Bowls. And I respect the shit out of that. And I I really do. But why not be a cake eater and have both? Yes. And like, and in his situation, he might not be able to, mm. you know, get those contracts. And that's totally fine. And like, he has the money. He's totally set. But it's just like if he was on any other, like if they, if any other team could afford him, or if he was a wide receiver, you would have to pay him twenty five million dollars. Yeah, you have to. Tyreek's getting thirty. Do you think if yeah, you, I love that. If yeah, you were, if, if the roles were reversed, you were on the Chiefs, you'd have as much success as he has. I mean, dude, we're two completely different football players. Now, um, I yes, I do think I'd be very successful in that offense still. Mm. But it's like it's very seven different. years running you say over completely different football players. Like you run great routes. I do, but it's just like, well, one his connection with Mahomes. Like you can see, like like from Mahomes' rookie year to now, like the things that they do together, 
like they'll just Travis will just be like, hey, they'll just like you have the middle of the hashes, get open in the timing of the play. Mm-hmm. And he could run a 10 yard basic, he could run a 10 yard out, he could hook it up at five, he could run shallow. Like they just have this ultimate freedom and that like, you can't develop that unless you've played with somebody for a long time. So like if you put me in the Chiefs offense like this year, I don't know if it would look exactly like it. I think I'm so I know I'm a really good football player, but just their connection and how good they are together, like that's one of the most unique relationships you can see on a football field. Is that why you're happy that Lynch came out and said Brock Purdy's the leader of the clubhouse? Yes and no. I mean, like, I want it to be competitive. I, I'm super pumped we signed Sam Darnold. Like, I think he's a good quarterback. You got Sam, Trey Lance, yeah, Brock Purdy, I love all in the Trey same Lance. room. Trey Lance still like Trey Lance has a super high ceiling. There's so many things that he could do. He has an unreal arm. He has this mobility. Um, he's a big guy. He can run the ball. I mean, his injury is a complete fluke. Like the oh, injuries happen. Like it just, yeah. it is what it is. You just, one day you're unlucky and then it just ruins some stuff. But like, so we have three very capable quarterbacks. I'm just excited about that. Now I just wish the guy that was hurt was the guy that who is hurt was available just to throw me the ball all the time. So like, I'm just excited to see what happens, but Hey, like four, four straight years of quarterback controversy, baby. Let's ride. I know. Bro. And still, still go deep in the playoffs. Yeah, know, it doesn't right? matter. The most important position in sports. I know. What are we doing? Hey, shout out Jimmy, by the way. Oh, yeah. The Jimmy boy. Yeah, the boy. Dude. Are the shout Raiders contenders? Are the Raiders going to win the AFC West because of Jimmy G? They were supposed to last year, right? Them in Denver? Yeah. That didn't go very well. Hey. That's all right. New year. New do we, year. We think, New year's do, we think the Ra- do we think the Raiders are taking the West this year? No. You don't believe in Jimmy? No, I just don't think anyone's going to beat Patrick and Travis. Oh, no, bro. They're getting old. <laughs> yeah, they're getting old and tired. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Did you see the uh, offer Jimmy got? I know you saw it. Oh, the brothel thing. Yeah. Did, oh, I, I gotta, I gotta send you the video. Some, some. Uh, I'm having sex? Some, no, 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 okay. no. I, I don't know. I don't know. You, know you, you asked me that way too eagerly. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah you, there's a video. Where's the link? Yeah, he's a handsome guy. I just yeah, want to see what he's, he's working. Got a great with. chin line. Um, no, but there's some of these like these Vegas fans like did a video. It's like I gotta show it too. But there's like Jimmy, Jim. And it's a whole like three minute song about. Him coming to the Raiders getting free sex. It's pretty funny. Bro, also, yeah, legit, a, a brothel came out. Chicken Ranch. The Chicken Ranch. Yeah, what a fucking name, dude. What a pool, too. Yeah, what a name. Saying his, he has, what, free sex for life, life. Yeah? yeah? Damn. Like Jimmy G needed that. Right, yeah. Yeah, Bruce, See, he, some for the rest of us, bro. You're married. You're good. Yeah, yeah well, you know, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. speaking for JP. You're talking, you're, you're, you're talking for the boys. That's what you're saying. You're saying it's for the boys who are no longer. No, you're not wrong. You know, he's going to do just fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's going to do just fine. Do you think he Look visits the once? Is that? Who's that? One of the one of the chickens. The what, chicken were the com- what were the what were the conversations? Is that the one from the chicken ranch that came out? I think so. I'm, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> What were the conversations like, like the the one time where it was? Through, <laughs> I'm not looking at that. <laughs> where, I didn't see that. Where it was in uh, it was in the headlines that he took the porn star on a date. What were the conversations like in the locker room? Oh, it was just clowning him a little bit, but like it was one of Shanahan's favorite running jokes was porn star Jimmy. He really enjoyed <laughs> yeah. that. What do you got going on this on this thing? <laughs> I'm like trying to listen. He's over yeah, there man, with your on. fingers crawling. <laughs> Are you sweating back there, dog? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> no, he was. You guys uh, did the I mean, it's just clowning once in a while, but he was just like, yeah, well, worth it. I'm him. <laughs> yeah, I'm him. And I was like, yeah. He's like, I'm him. Yeah, go off, Jimmy. That was fun, too, because I was like right after my rookie season, too. And so it's just like, I don't know. I went like my rookie season. I had no idea what to expect in the NFL. We were 0-9, and, and then oh, Jimmy came right. in. and He won five straight. We're like, we were the hottest team in the NFL. Yeah, we beat the Titans. You guys came into us playing a terrible football team. Yeah, we should have fucking won that game. Dude. We won a two minute two minute drive, grabby goal, field goal for the win. I had a nice twenty five yard catch down the middle. Didn't even know what the play was. Just guessed. Jimmy found you just it. Just guessed right. Oh, I totally did. Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. know a lot my rookie year. Still don't know that much, but I'm learning. Yeah, you're yeah. a student. Yeah, I'm a student of the game. Student of the game. No, that, but then you see me off so much. Yeah, have, yeah. and then, then you see this hot new quarterback. I oh, know the man going to the off season. And then Jimmy took us to Vegas, which was awesome. So much fun. Just. That was my first, like, I went to Vegas my rookie season with Trent Taylor. We bought $30 Southwest tickets during OTAs and fly into Vegas. And we rented our own, like, got on the Aria website, got a room, no plugs, no help, no nothing. Stood in line at a club, like, and it's had a great time. And then we went with Jimmy and it's just like, everything is just access to anything that you want to go. Here's your table. Here's these. Hey, there's women over there. I'm just like, I'm just going to sit over here and just watch Jimmy do his thing. Yeah. It was wild. Dude, being a, being a like a, an audience member watching Jimmy work must be something special. Dude, I swear to, I swear it was like a, it looked like Tinder in real life. It was just like, <laughs> it was just like he was like, no, 
Yes. No. <laughs> you feel that? <laughs> yeah, be like, that's, that's like Chris Tucker and uh, it was just it was, was the it movie? Was Ryan Gosling and Crazy Stupid Love, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, like me and Rush Fr Hour, where he's in the mas massage parlor, yeah, yeah, yeah. picking him out. Yeah, he yeah, was. yeah, yeah. Dude, no, me, me and like two other rookies were sitting there, like, is this what the NFL is? Like, this is what it's supposed to be, dude. That's no, awesome. it's not. Like, that's not that doesn't happen for everybody. <laughs> that does not happen for everybody. Yeah. It was, uh, goes, I'm just gonna sit over here, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drink my tequila pineapple. My Bud Light and just relax. I'm gonna have tequila a tequila pineapple. Delicious. Makes me feel like I'm on the beach. Also, you drink like two of them, you get a decent buzz. I do a double shot, get a decent buzz, and everything tastes like water after that. That's a big uh, Drake thing, isn't it? Drake's big into tequila pineapple. Oh, is he? I only know that from Sunday conversation. Oh, I, uh, I didn't listen to it. So yeah, you didn't listen to it. I just listened to the, hi the highlights. They, the highlights they put out there are amazing. Actually, yeah. you know what I think? Well, how long are those? Like four like, or five minutes long. I did watch that then. Okay, because like he did. Minutes. Yep, I remember that now. It was like his biggest one. That was Caleb's like uh, Great White Buffalo. That yeah. How did they get Drake? Good for you, man. It seems like you and Drake have a bit of a situation because you guys you went to the, the Drake party. Yeah. And now he's coming to Bridgestone, June nineteenth. Yeah, June nineteenth, day before, <laughs> day before uh, Tide and You. Day before Tide and You. I know. What do you got going on around June twenty seventh? Huh, why? This would be a big get. This would this be, be a big, a big get. get. Where are we going? Brother, we have not talked to you about June 19th. We moved to June 27th. I don't, I'm not going to drop too many names here, but Burt Kreischer's in. That's that's significantly better for me. Yeah? Significantly better. You willing me. to shake on it now? Yeah, check your phone. This is worth This is worth waiting for. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Um, I'm ready. I know. Get I'm your other hand ready. Get your my other hand ready. My wife actually sent me her Google Calendar, which has my whole life in it. Come on. Say again. Date June 27th, 2023. Of this year. Of this year. What's well, a Tuesday? It is a Tuesday. What time do we start? Noon. And then you guys show up on Wednesday to run routes with me? Done. We'll we'll pay for the IV in the morning. All right, wait. I can't shake too. Yeah, what's the? Yeah, yeah, like that. This oh, uh, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait. You guys get in one barn workout. Oh, Anytime that's that's so easy. Done. That's so that's easy. Done. Done. Hey, locked him in. Absolutely. Yes, you can come. Yeah. Absolutely. We got him, boys. We got um, him. Podcast is over. That was that the whole point of this whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> Just to trick me into this? Hey, we did. Uh, that's a big get. That's a big get. It's a big get. Do you guys need a sponsorship? I can call Bud Light and get everything. No, they, in. they're going to stay away from that because they don't uh, support binge drinking. Oh, oh you but just I, gave up with the. No, I didn't. That's no. what we're doing on the 27th. Are we, are we binge drinking on the 27th? <laughs> no, we don't. Cut that. Actually, don't cut that. Just bleep that. Yeah, bleep that. Yeah, just bleep that. Yeah, just bleep that. That's actually funnier. Um. Oh, trust me. They. They support well, listen, me. You're not the only. I love them. You're not they the only. You. You're That's not the only Bud Light That's athlete great in this bus you. right now, brother. I don't know if you heard. I got 5K from them this past. I didn't year. know that. Yeah, come on. All come I want, on. my biggest thing is what I just want to post Malone as a Bud Light athlete, and I want to meet him so bad. He's like my favorite artist. Invite him. Sure, I'll ask. I DM'd him when he pre-performed at Bridgestone. I DM'd him, did not get a response. You're a big DM guy, uh, dude. Well, it's slide in. Why not? I'm going to, I'm going to continue to slide in, man. A shameless yeah. slide is nothing to be ashamed about. I mean, I'll slide into guys' DMs all the time. Like, I got nothing to hide. No doubt. Hey, I'm a huge fan, man. Let's yeah. connect. Hell yeah. That's not it. It is what it is. June 27th. It's happening. That's the date. That's a big, that's a big get. Yeah. It's a big get for the boys. Where is it? My house. Backyard. <clears throat> I just drove past your house the other day, by the way. Yeah? I honked. Did you? I honk every time I go past any of my friends' houses that I know. I said, beep, beep. Put it on there. Yeah. And why not? We're going to do that. We're going to set up. A driver for you? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna yeah, have I'll, that. I'll just give my guys numbers cheap. Oh, I love how plugged you are. You are the plug, bro. Thank you. How yeah. many guys you got coming out to the barn right now? Uh today we had uh one, two, three, four, five. We had like eight guys running routes with yeah, is Hawk back in town? Yeah, Hawk is back in town from his Bahama golf trip. Who would be your partner for this thing on June twenty seventh? Is it just like two people? You and you and a teammate. Will and I will be teammates. Good luck. I'm not worried about you. I just know office, right. office alignment. Sorry, right. I literally it's ran. Water. I literally ran Kittle Fest last year. But go ahead. Did you? Yeah. That what is that? The beer die game that I oh, yeah, you were leave the table. I know. I went. I mean, I won 18 straight beer pong games at the Forest Buckner. That's right. You were out there late, but that was when I was ripping Stogies at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he was a boy. He needs to come back and come on the bus. I remember that now. People, he's coming back to Kittle Fest in July. He, you should ask him to come on. Yes, he's, he's awesome. Yeah, he would be awesome. He wouldn't fit. He's twice the size of me. 
We've Buckner? had big motherfuckers the, on here now. He's the human being I've ever been around. Him and Javon Kinlar are massive. But uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll think about my partner. Do I get a, I can invite anybody? Anybody you want. Okay, cool. Let me think about it. Doesn't even have to be a quote name. It okay. can be whoever you want. Sounds good. Hmm. I have a couple I have a couple people I might ask. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to win. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm in. This will be really fun. trophy made. Dude, okay, so tied in you. We, we looked into getting like a like a Heisman Trophy type of thing, you know, for like a tight end of the year or like up and coming tight end who had like the best year. And like to get like an authentic trophy was five to ten thousand dollars. I was like, ah, I'm okay without that. That's worth spending for our June twenty seventh yeah, thing. That's, that's, sure. that's one hundred percent worth spending. Yeah, put on the bus. It's a it's a business expense. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, we could sponsor your trophy. So hot. It's real. And is there a bus on the side? No, that's like we uh, got it from that's, that's the UFC. Is that your Will Compton nameplate? I've never seen that. Yeah, we got it shipped to me. That's so hot. Hey, we don't have much time left. Let's talk about yeah, our Theo. Theo. Oh, okay, cool. Should also we talk about tight end you? We'll get tight end you. We'll get that. We'll, we'll make right. sure we make I'm time gonna, for tight end I'm going to be back before tight end you's on. Was that? Or, you, that. Oh, also, or just fast forward. We can talk about that because you guys are going to bust my balls for having part of my take on. They reached out to us and asked because I've been talking to Big Cat about it a little bit because they were supposed to go last year. They didn't, so they reached back out. My marketing said, if you guys, Pete said, he goes, just have Will reach out and they're in. So oh, got, I plan on reaching out to Pete. That's all you got to do. And then you guys. He are, gave us his room last year. I know. Awesome guy. He's like, we guy. obviously want you guys there. You guys just need that to. That just helps. We will be there. My, my wife's birthday is during Tight End You. And she's like, you need to go do that. Same birthday as Mitch. And Mitch told me. It's not to all go, about you, man. It's about his wife. Mitch told me to go do Tight End You. Crazy. Yeah, we're in. Yeah, and for sure. We weren't going to say anything about that on this podcast, but we did feel some type of way. I know mostly. he did. I know he, tar- he told me about it. I oh, was yeah. like, look. Well, look, look, look. I want you guys. Time. I'd rather like. Time. Can, I, I, throw a, can I throw a little challenge? Like, it, it helped fuel the fire of all the things that were kind of happening. Help. So you guys are gaslighting me right now. Yeah, it helps. Gaslight gaslight I love you guys so much. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> that helped. Yeah, it helped gaslight you more because you went on Theo's podcast. You come back to Nashville and I guess you want to go on his podcast before ours. And then you. I told you I was going to be back. Was, hey, that was a forced laugh. I don't care what you say, that preemie baby joke on pre-workout, solid chirp, but that was a fake laugh. <laughs> that was a fake laugh. Especially when you say, yeah, for oh, sure. for you, Will. I did. I stuck up for him. I didn't actually see that part. Oh, I did stick up for you. I just saw the clip and I sent it to you. I go, what are we talking about here? Yeah, well, and you go, no, you I, cut it at the wrong point. He said that and I laugh because I laugh more because it just came out of left field. And Dude, it was, he said it was, it was, it was we were talking about nothing. And then all of a sudden he just takes it to level 150. And I'm just, and I was like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah when he, he said, bodied me. When he, he said, did. Yeah. And no, and I said, Hey, chill, chill. Taylor's going to have a great year this year. Relax. He's healthy and he's feeling fantastic. Oh, we're going to have a great year. Don't you great worry year. about that. It's going to be I'm not worried. the best year of my life. <laughs> Sorry. So, a little aggressive. You want to elaborate? Um, no, nah, did I defend nope, Will? I will I, in a couple weeks. I did not defend Will though. That's okay. I didn't. You got your facts wrong. You said we won one game against Iowa. I'm undefeated against Iowa. I know. All right. Man. Well, fucking. That it is. That's all I need to do. I'm in denial about it. bet on Iowa, Nebraska this year? Oh, yeah. I'll we bet. do it every year. Yeah, every year we do it. What do you guys bet? A video. Yeah, it's a video. Whoever loses has to post a video. You guys want to see something cool? You won't catch it. Oh, so there close. Right there. That was my finger popping. I will say the that. coolest thing that I did on the Theo Vaughn podcast, a bug got in and it was just flying around for like 30 seconds and it just flew past me and I snagged it left handed on camera and I was like, ah, that could not have gotten any you better. Could have me. Probably thrown a football in the NFC Championship game then. Hot, not thrown. But I'm saying with that kind of talent running I through your body, a, I couldn't do a left handed layup in high school basketball. I, there's no way I could throw a left handed football. <laughs> That's so bad. Give yourself more credit. But, um, yeah, what do, you want, you want, what do you want to talk about with Theo? Just, uh, I guess you know, we're in a, you know, we're 100% you know, available. You know we're in a beef with him. I did not know that when I went on. No, 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 no. Now you know. You actually contributed to the last beef. week. No, I just didn't smolder it. I didn't smother it. There it is. That's what yeah, I was Yeah, that I was did. better. Grease fire. Smother the grease fire. Yeah, I just laughed. But I, like I said, I defended you. You know, see, if I could go back, all I would say is I would just give you guys a shout out for being the boys consistently and always being fantastic people. That's the best thing about you, dude, is you go watch the film and you see how you can get better. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I would have done different. Because I, I watched the clip, I was like, you know what? I do feel bad that I did not just, not even defend you two, just defend the bus because this is a fantastic place. You guys have an amazing, you've built an amazing podcast, amazing following, and you always hype up everybody around you. And I'm just, I'm not just here good stroking vibes, you guys. Vibes, yeah, you guys are just fantastic. And you, you guys don't deserve all this shit. Now, George, he would do saying that you did look like that. Well, I, that was a real laugh. It was a fake laugh. No, super I've real. Been around you enough. That was that was funny. I've been around you enough. That was a fake laugh. You knew he was sizing us up a little bit. Complimenting, complimenting, complimenting. No doubt, Gary. just to bring it down. Yes. No, but I'll bear. I'll build you guys back up all the time. And when am I not available to you? And I also I brought you back your hats because I didn't want you guys to lose out on merch. That is a lot of money. Guys will do that. 
Not a lot, but I was going to say. I did give away the Bills hats, though, to the Bills players. I was going to say, okay. when the boys come through and work out in the barn and shit, like, stay tight in you, you got them. Yeah. Give them. So you can have them back, is what I'm saying. Oh. And have them for the barn. I think it's more special if they come from you guys, though. No emphasis on. Thank you. But just like you have our flag flying proudly in your barn, it's boys like you is. can have hats, too. Mm. Oh, you rock with the bussin'? Brother, come back here. I got Boys rock hat. with bussin'. It's a great flag, too. Like, what a different color. It's like maroon, isn't it? Yeah. Such something great, like that. Such a, I like, like that. that. Maroon and cream. Flag. So, going back to Will talking about the beef. Yeah, there sure. There is beef between Theo Vaughn and Bust with the Boys. I know. I've, I've seen a couple of the clips now. Yeah. It's getting aggressive. I don't know why he's coming at you guys so hard. Yeah. You well, know, you know, he's... Well, have you guys said things to him? It's like the Battle of 300. Not necessarily. I think he was tight because I, I, I faked somebody's death. Like... <laughs> oh, he roasted you for that. Allegedly. He, he was, Whose he death was, did you... Caleb Presley, like, dude was on a ventilator. Theo sent him some uh, voice message saying, rip the ventilator out, don't go out like a pussy. And we're just all catching up. <laughs> we're all catching up in the hospital when Caleb's, like, that briefing was, all of this stuff. And I'm brutal. like, yo, we should uh, we should hit him up and act like you died. He's like, oh, let's do it. And so we faked Caleb's death while he was in the air going to LSU. But immediately said, just kidding. Because you're I might have said it absolutely gutted and played it. You guys are outrageous. I love but it. That's what he was bummed about. So and, but there's been a lot, there's, been there's a a lot line drawn in the boys. sand right now. There's a line drawn in the sand. I just want to know whose side you're on. Oh, I'm with the boys. That's all we, all we, needed, needed, to hear. All we needed to hear. Oh, yeah, that's no that. question. No, like I do. Uh, yeah, I'm with the boys. Are you kidding me? Do, yeah, you guys do way too much for me. I do like, like, I like Theo. I met him for the first time. Um, at the, was it the, what's the golf thing in Scottsdale? What's it called? Uh, waste management. Waste management. So I met him there and that was a fan. Like he's funny as hell. Like he was, uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed him. I've only hung out, bless you. I've only hung out. Like that's the second time I've, I've seen him twice that in the podcast. So it's like, I know you guys, you guys, well, and you guys haven't been to my barn yet. So we're not, you know, that close, but we will go to the barn. I know I've only had it for three years. And the new bar now is actually I just. Well, so I don't know if beautiful. you heard about my last three years. I've been a tough couple of three years. I haven't really been <laughs> well, able to work out. Instead. I tease yeah, George every out. year. I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm down, I'm down. We'll go. Uh, we will make a. We'll make a point together. Taylor's never said, "Hey, I'll be there." Will has multiple times said, "Oh, I'm there this week, dude. Yeah. You, you're you have my liar, word, bro. I can go back like two years ago. You can and, go back. Trust me. You're gonna be like, hey, gonna, I don't want to disrespect your time by just showing up every now and then. I know that was a conversation. I said, I know that you're not like that. You're not just there. You did, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not like that. I don't. I know that you have good intentions. I know people have bad intention and they don't come to my barn. You guys are good people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Theo at the waste management as well. I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee. I saw Theo at the waste management also. We pulled up. Nice hit there. (laughs) Wow, this is much squishier than yours. You definitely seem like... Dude, this is like the the three bears. Goldocks and the three bears. Yeah, a little firm. This is the best one. Oh, this is the best one. I like that one a lot. I don't think I've ever sat in that chair. It's like super squishy. Cool. I saw Theo at Waste Management as well, and I went to say hello to him. And he, he legitimately, I don't know if he was on something or whatever, but he looked like a scared raccoon. He was waiting in line for uh, for like a cocktail. And I was like, Theo, what's up? And he was just like, watched me walk by. And I was like, all right, I guess that's the end of our situation here today. How fucking wild is Waste Management, though? Such a fun time. I didn't leave the 16th. Oh, you shouldn't. No, there's no reason to leave. If you can get into the 16th, you need to stay there. It was awesome. Met uh, Nick Bosa there, Joey Bosa. There was like Sam Hubbard was there. There was a bunch of dudes. I know. I had left that where you met them. We missed each other by probably five minutes. Yeah. Did you have you heard about like uh, the Phoenix? It's like a gentleman's club. And they there? like basically put on a bunch of shit there. And there's like different. Is it there at the waste yeah, management? Di- yes, I did hear about it. I had a couple people tell me about it. I did not make it over there though. They like, they have like secret bars and stuff like that inside. Yes, I know. I, I heard, th- I heard there's another secret bar like underneath everything yeah. too. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. Oh, no. oh sorry. Do you want me to move? If you'd like to. Uh, you sit right there, brother. No, this is an interesting concept. I just want to be in. F- what? Just Will sitting there. How's that seat feel? All right. Like. Solid. I'm just fucking. Uh, well, oh, dude, you're well, a guest. Pod. Thank you. Good to be here. Kittle and the boys. Yeah, well, what did I miss? What were we talking about? We talking waste about the waste management. management. Like the cool bars and all the stuff that's there and seeing the awesome people. stuff that's inside the oh, 16 yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many. There's so many people there, too. So many people. But, uh, the, the owner of Raising Canes, awesome. Todd Graves. Are you a Raising Canes or a Zaxby's guy? Canes. All the way. Ten out of ten. I appreciate that. No, That's all you need. Raising Canes is my favorite food. Like, I, if I'm in a city that... Why does Nashville not have it, by the way? Hey, 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 it's coming. Off of White Bridge. Right yeah. down the road from my house. Yep. 
Really? It's the building when? is basically finished. They still need to do the parking lot and everything else this year. Like probably in the next couple of months, I bet. Dude, that is, I've been so- There goes your diet. Oh, dude. It's uh, over. Raising Cane's is one of my favorite places. I was so angry because I moved here. And like the day I moved here, they opened a Raising Cane's up in Cedar Falls, Iowa, which is the University of Northern Iowa is. Mm-hmm. One of my buddies that plays for the Bills lives up there. And he was like, dude, look what just opened. I was like, are you Iowa? Northern Iowa got a Cane's before. The, where are we, isn't Nashville hot chicken? Yeah, but I mean, Cane's isn't really a hot chicken place. I know, like it's chicken though. Like, yeah, that's what they that serve, was. That's what, that sauce. Was. what do you get? You get the Caniac? Yeah. What, the slaw for an extra piece of Texas toast? Got to. Yeah. Extra, extra toast, no slaw. Then I always get an extra sauce yeah, on top like of that because spot. each toast basically gets its own it's cane it sauce. There's no question. Because you drizzle. What I do is I kind of hollow out the toast, put it in there like a hot dog, and then you have yourself a little hot dog chicken sandwich deal. Yeah, that's not a bad idea the at sauce, all. And then dip. But I'm a huge sauce guy. I just guy. take the Texas toast and I jam it as far into the sauce as I can and I yes, eat brother. it all. That's... Hell yes. My mouth's watering. Also, in and out Burger's coming to uh, Nashville. Is it really? That's, have you guys not seen that? I did. I saw that. That's a that's a, white, that's a ways away, though. Isn't it like a year, yeah, yeah, on the bus? a year or two away? So, uh, Raising Cane's is sponsoring uh, Kittle Fest this year. Is it really? Yep. Uh, we are going to get fat at Kittle Fest, assuming July that 15. we're going. Uh, yeah, Kittle Fest. Oh, it's actually Club Kittle this year. Club Kittle? Club Kittle. What's the... Well, I was not there. I was in... Ki- Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I was in Canada during the whole process. I know it you were. It seemed like a, an amazing time. What is, like, what's the landscape for Kittle Fest this year? Like, what are we, are we talking about live entertainment? Oh, yeah. Obviously, some beer drinking games. There's cigars. That's pretty much what I know about Kittle Fest. You Club show Kittle. up and you go to the, they have a front table and you, like, you check, check in. in. They give you gear. Like, it, oh, so I got the little Kittle Fest like, bucket. There's like a su- summer camp vibes. And so mm-hmm. everyone showed up and you had a desk that you checked in at for summer camp. You got, like, bracelets. See, like, Kittle Fest. That's cool. No, I played the entire season with it and it lasted. No way. What are the odds of that? That fragile little thing. Yeah, I know. Is that wild? Shows you how soft NFL's getting. Yeah. Right? A little bit. Yeah. No. But uh, no, Kittle Fest, it's just, uh, it's a good spot for, I get all like my college and high school, uh, mostly just college. I get all my college friends to come down, former college teammates, our friends that live like DeForest Buckner, who's, you know, he's in California or Indianapolis, wherever he's at. And just like all of my NFL friends come, Claire's friends. And we had like, I think we, I don't know, like 80 to 100 people last year. So much fun. We had, um, what was it? We had a crawfish boil. That was awesome. They came and did that for us. Then we had dinner provided for everybody. Bud Light sponsors the whole thing. And it's just like, like Tyler Rich played. Jelly Roll played last year. That's awesome. That was super cool. Just out of the blue. He just, he, they're like, hey, do you mind if Jelly Roll comes? I was like, that's great, yeah. dude. Awesome. Jelly's like that, though. He'll just show up. He'll yeah, text him. He won't text you back for three weeks, but then he'll just show up at your house. Hey, Jelly. Hey. He's fucking all time. Yeah, he was awesome. We really enjoyed having him. But just it's just kind of like hanging out. I have a bunch of family that comes down for it, too. So just fun. Play a lot of beer games. It's one day. Yeah. Just show up. But this year's Club Kittle, like I said. So I'm working on some fun things for that whole theme. Nothing you want to give up right now. Not yet. And you shouldn't. No, I want it to be a is, surprise. Is Chubby's going to be involved? Probably. I love that. Big Chubby's fan. Yeah. I, I have some fantastic sponsors. You really do. Bud Light, Chubby's. Gatorade. Cash App. Cash App, great sponsor. Gatorade. Yeah. He's got Go all ahead. the big dogs, man. He's got all the big dogs. He really does. We interrupt this episode to bring you the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports and Bustin' with the Boys, Boys. Created by fans for fans, by the boys for boys. Game time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals for tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest possible price. They've cracked the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets. We do it all the time. We if Jack, if the Jack, if boy, the Jackie boy's down, he's like, hey, what is the code to game time? Because he's got to create a new profile every time. Because on your first purchase, you will get this twenty dollars off that I will give you. But the purchase process takes just two taps and ten seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're, direct, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text, so you can get into the game seamlessly. Seamlessly. Mm. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code BUSSIN, that's B-U-S-S-I-N, for a good $20 off. Your first purchase terms always apply. Thank you. Back to the episode. Why don't you start a podcast? I have a family podcast called Hidden Pearls. Yeah, Hidden yeah. Pearls. With this, yeah, with, with uh, your sister and your dad, yeah? Yep. That's crazy. Well, you could have told me that before we started. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you didn't know. You promoted. Read my mind, brother. I've had. We're. You got to. You got to be able to know where I'm going with that. We've had. We've had. We're we're (laughs) going. I got that CTE FG. (laughs) We've had three seasons. We've been around for a while. That's fine. I do got to get something. I got to get something on my chest. It pisses me off every time Theo comes up and we kind of just don't say shit. Huh? We just don't say. We don't say nothing. We kind of shell up. You want to talk shit to him? 
Yeah, I mean, we kind of shell up well, about, did, about Theo, I, you I know what I mean? Yeah, about seeing him at the Waste Management. You I had, like, I had you a little look like a scared raccoon, is what yeah. he said. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, you got to just look at me. We just need to get one in there. We got something to clip, don't you worry. Big bang. That's all we needed. Yeah, I know. I feel like I used a good one on Twitter by calling him Stoop Kid because he fucking looks like Stoop Kid off Hey Arnold. <laughs> hey, the, the dumb chicken off Moana. Dumb chicken off Moana. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, bro. Win. Oh, that was mean, too. <laughs> what, you said he looked like somebody off Ice Age. No, the acorn. The acorn. Yeah. He looks like the acorn looks off like Ice the Age. acorn that squirrels I trying just to watched get. Ice Age this week, and that's funny as hell. What else can we get? He fucking, yeah, you know, Theo. Well, he, he, so, Theo. Dude, he looks so dumb, dumb dude. He's, yeah, he's got to be the only guy. How dumb is he? He's Fuck. got to be the only guy in Louisiana with a mullet that doesn't know how to shoot a gun. Let's fucking go. Got him. Oh, that's disrespectful. He, uh, what else? Is, uh, you, you guys know how dumb Theo yeah. is, dude. Yeah. He looks like a mechanic who doesn't know how to change the tire. Like, if he worked for AAA, he'd pull up and have to call somebody to help you out. Yeah, dude. Theo looks we like fucking the, go. the We're leader of a lesbian biker gang. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Theo, yeah. dude. Yeah. Fucking pussy. What he looks like somebody who fails shot because he doesn't know how to use his hands, Yeah, bro. dude. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Yo. Got him again. I didn't know he was in his 40s. That's why. He's 43. I've never met a 43-year-old senior in high school he, until I met him. There you go. Probably he, still on that free lunch. Does hair? There's no question. Does huh. he dye his hair? Brother, he's 43. He's got to have some grays in there. You know he does them just yeah, for men. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. see any grays. Exactly, because yeah. he dyes his hair. Whoa. He's a Hollywood redneck, dude. I'm talking, he's, he wants to look the part, but he's too pretty for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can tell he had the teeth done. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's got a nose job, too. That's allegedly. That's it. Allegedly. That is what we that's think on the bus. That's a bus yeah, rumor. Yeah. That's a bus rumor. Wow. Wow, this is awesome. A lot of tea being spilled out here. Yeah. I think that we we threw some good little jabs right there, yeah. You did. You were in flow state for a second. For a minute, hey, for a flow second. State. That's fucking great. He reminds me. He reminds. <laughs> hey, just trying to keep going. He reminds me of this gal. He reminds me of this gal when we when we would listen to the announcements in like sixth grade. She would take her left foot and she would hump her foot while in her right hand she'd be drinking milk. And you know how if you you open the uh, cart milk a little too big and it falls out the side of your falls out the side of your uh, cheeks. He reminds me of that old gal. It's a little, hey, something's a little like off with her, but she's not gonna fucking know how to drink milk out of the carton. Yeah, fucking. She's sitting here, and you, I wish we had a you because you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you open the, it up a little, little too, carton. You, you open, open it, it up, the triangle a little too wide, and it starts going off the side of your face. And she would just fucking hold that thing while school announcements were going, and she just fucking hump her foot in the desk. I'm not shitting you. Would she blast off? I don't know if she blast. We're in sixth grade. You? She had a little something off, but anyway, all to say, she reminds me of Theo. <laughs> yeah, you know, got him. Got yeah. his dumb ass. Fuck that bitch ass, dude. All right, <laughs> uh, we got a fucking. Should we hit tight on you before we let him go? Smartest we list in LD class. You guys oh, know what I'm saying? LRC class. That is. It was for us. It was LD. Ours was LRC, but I was also uh, in those. You classes. guys were on it today. That was flow state. That was pretty impressive. You were on it. All right, you all did right. good too. I checked my phone while he was going. I hope it was. Y good. You know that's <laughs> yeah. That's how good he was. You're like, all right, yeah. I got I got time. <laughs> we just need we need something out. We needed something out there. Anytime it's brought up, we kind of I feel like I because I feel it. Maybe I'm talking personally. You feel something like I gotta. This is the time to throw something. Well, you're, you're not fan correct. base. It's a very impoverished fan base. On the pedestal is what we got to do. We do. We say he's a comedian. He does this. He I does know. That. We see the comments. Theo's gonna bury you guys. Not even that. Yeah, the comments like he's got that impoverished fan base. Like you know they're gonna come after you. You yeah. don't know what's gonna come out yeah, of their mouth. Else. Yeah. You think about burning Dollar Generals and then you cut them off from their necessities, and that's what might be how you start. Yeah. Take out the foundation, man. <laughs> Take out the foundation exactly. Shut down. We got to We got to ruin his com uh, comedy career. We got to do. What something. do you think their favorite? <laughs> we got to take everything. What do you think? Have some we got to take everything fun. from what him. What do you think? Like their favorite uh, fast food would be. Like where do you think they go to eat? Checkers. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. I think Checkers might be a little too expensive for him. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. White probably Castle? probably Subway before Jerry oh, what's got got. Place everyone says the best burger. Probably after Crystals. Too. <laughs> yeah. Probably something like that, dude. Crystals. Chris, is I always garbage. never would heard that one. That's funny. Oh fuck. Was it Chris a, is a solid one? I, I said Subway before Jared got got, and then Georgia goes probably a little after too. <laughs> probably yeah. either way. Subway always gave you that stench. Like in high school, you go to Subway and you come out it and you smell like, like Subway the rest that's of the a day. Good smell? No, it is not. I, it, it smelled it, like when we walked in this bus today. That Jimmy John's was out here. It's one or the other. You either like that smell or you hate it, and I I understand both. There's days that I think Subway. So what are you? I'm both. I like. There's days it's, I think it's one or the other. You like which, it out of which two? Jimmy I'm John's both. or who? No, Subway. I'm just like. There's days I walk into a Subway. I'm like, oh, that's a nice smell. Then like, there's other days I walk in there. I smell like oh, I don't want Subway anymore. Yeah. I just walk right out. Dude, Subway used to be a fucking hitter back in the day. That's used uh, to. You still get that sweet and ch chicken teriyaki. It'll sing to you. Subway melt dog. Chipotle sauce on it as well. No, I do the honey mustard and obviously sweet onion sauce. You got a sweet onion and the little Chipotle deal. Subway melt, man. Subway, Subway milk. Milk. Subway 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 mil
Dive on the menu. You just go experience it, dog. Throw some honey mustard on that bitch. Mm. As long as you got red onions on the they sandwich, do, you're doing just They do fine. honey mustard so well. Jersey Mike's is underrated too to me. You even Firehouse subs warm, is underrated. Firehouse subs Firehouse is underrated. Get them red onions. Bravo. Hey, bro. You, you want to talk curling? Yeah, talk, talk to us about minutes. curling. Yeah, we talk two minutes. Okay, talk to us about curling. You're get, uh, speaking of, that's where you're going to be going after this curling practice. Yeah, curling practice. Talk to us. What are your goals in this curling game? Well, so I've realized that when you're an NFL football player, like, I don't know, seven, eight months of your life is competitive, right? Every single day. And you have to be competitive at the highest level because if you suck multiple days in a row, hey, you're either getting cut or you're not going to get the ball very much or yeah. you're just, you know, not going to get the reps. And so you have to be locked in. And so when I get off season, it's like, okay, I don't want to be ultra competitive. So, I don't really want to golf because there's so much that goes into golf and you, I don't want to get lessons. I don't want to pay for lessons. I, I don't have time to go golf for six hours a day, multiple days a week. So like, that's just kind of another relaxing, that's a relaxing thing for me. So I wanted to pick up something that was a little competitive that I could like dial into curling. I go for two hours once a week and we do, we're in a men's league here in uh we're not a men's league. We're in a league uh, here in Nashville at the T line. Uh, Mark, Mark Bolger is the owner, which is pretty uh, nice. Mark Bolger yeah, quarterback. Yeah. Rams. Yeah. He's the owner. How fun is that? And so, yeah, we're going over there to get some, uh, yeah. get some, we're going to toss some rocks, get some sweeping. Mark in. Bolger was the guy for the Rams, like when I was growing up. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? He's, he's a Warner, obviously, too. But Hell yeah, brother. Swing through. He's the bulls. He's awesome. They've got great food over there, too. That's what we called him. Just going over there, just Braxton. We're getting through it today, but it's uh, it's me, Tunyon, Hawkinson, Trent Taylor, and then uh, one of uh, our boys, uh, Dave. And so all five of us are just kind of in a league. We rotate a little bit. Well, no, Dave rotates when one of us isn't there. And, but yeah, we're just going over for some practice, get better at it. But it's like, it's also, I want something competitive to do when I'm done playing. So why not start now? And I, Jared Allen's like, is a monster at it. Apparently like I haven't seen him yet, but he practices there all the time at T line. And he is like a dog. And uh, I think they, they had nationals and like, they beat the current Olympic gold. Matt medalist. Hamilton. They, yeah. So I just saw Matt Hamilton. The look alike. Yeah. yeah. I was on his radio show in Wisconsin. Fun guy. But he, um, they beat him at nationals, but I think it was like a round robin thing and they came back and I think they won it again. And so mm -hmm. like, they're going back, but Jer and I don't really know how all that works. Um, but I, I think it's just really fun thing. Cause it's not physical. Your body doesn't really take a toll. Like you get a little sore from like pushing and being that low to the ice. But like, if you're a good athlete, which all of us on this bus are, I'm assuming boys. Yeah, all the yeah, boys. Yeah. You we boys should join the league. We got a squad now. So like, a bus in league? Oh, dude, it's so much fun. They go. It's two, hour, it's in two hours once dude, a week. We're the it's team, so but team bus. No, we're going to start our own league. <laughs> hey, T-line is less than 100 yards from the old bussing spot. Oh, for real? Yeah, 100 yards from it. We're Which the church. bussing spot? The yeah, church. yeah, yeah, the church. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's 100 yards away from that. Oh, that's not far from the old house. Bring on through. Yeah. And you haven't met Jared Allen. I've not, sadly. I've only sent his DMs twice. God, we gotta, you gotta, we gotta get you guys in contact. We'll get a third one in today. Why not? Yeah, throw it in there, dude. He we'll has, get that group check on because he's a stud. It's he's so competitive. Like he's on the he apps. wants to beat Matt Hamilton. I know he does. I love that. the Olympics. He wants to go to the Olympics. I know. I'm in. I just, not while I'm not, while, not while I'm still playing football. Yeah. That pod we did with Jared was one of my favorite ones because we're, awesome. we're literally just talking conspiracies the whole time. We were we should have a little uncomfortable right at times, but it was like where you're sitting in the basement of a slumber party and you're just talking shop about everything. Mm. What's that slumber party? Is that what you called it? What's that slumber you're... party? Yeah, when's the last time you had a slumber party? We have a slumber party every Wednesday after, yeah. our, after our spring football tour. It's awesome. We go to a place, we hang out, we get drunk and go to sleep. Yeah. It'd be a lot worse. No, dude, we have a fantastic life. I know it. But God, our to. life is fucking awesome. Where do you guys go next? We go to Columbus, Ohio. That's not going to suck. Sold out. That's not going to suck. Wild. Can't believe it's, it's sold be out. be fun, The bro. awesome video you guys posted was elite. That looked like a, the absolute riot. Man, it was it was sick. When we, go to, awesome. when we go to Iowa next year, you should come with. Yeah, that's what. That's why we didn't go to Iowa this year. 100%. Well, what did we talk about? Where The reason we didn't do Iowa this year is because I was going to do something else. Yeah, you had WrestleMania. Mm. It was a good excuse. Yeah. I mean, you no, got... I, I go to WrestleMania. We leave Friday for it. I'm pretty excited. Because it was like, we were looking at Iowa for certain dates. And I had texted you. I'm like, hey, we're going to Iowa. It was going to be over Ohio State, basically. Mm -hmm. like, or Colorado. Well, anyway, one of those. Um, and it was like, hey, this is hanging this on the board. We're going to make it work. And I was yeah. like... If you can go, we'll go to Iowa. If you can't, we're not going to fucking... You gave me two dates and both dates I have, I've had booked for like the last year. Yeah. I mean, WrestleMania like, is a good excuse. You know what date we did get, though? June 27th. We did, which you is did. bigger. That's I, huge for us. Dude. Hey, I are, told you, are you are you going to are you going to get in the ring at WrestleMania? I would love to. I I've literally every every WrestleMania. I'm like, hi, I'm going to be here. If you want me to get thrown through a table, I'd love to. Please, like you, you got to have something because you got the hair too. Like you got to put water in it and fucking you do one of the as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm dialed. Yeah, yeah. Put him through a table, please. I'll jump off a ladder. I don't if care. You could, if you could powerbomb one person, who would it be? 
in the ring, like WWE or not WWE? Both. WWE. Okay. Yeah. For the Hard boys, hitting. I'd say Theo. I think that's that'd be really fun. Right. Hell yeah, um, dude. Um, need that. Rest, a wrestler. Um, hey, well, hey, Roman Reigns is the champ right now, so I'd throw him through a table any day. I'd love that. And he's a 49ers fan. I've never met him, which is kind of sad because I've been to so many wrestling events. Really? I know. Sad. I just want to meet him. Seems like a good dude. Is the the Uso, the brothers, they're dope. They're awesome. They're so they fun. They go hard. They're so sick. We were at SummerSlam this past year. Oh, it was incredible. They're, with they're, the fucking truck. Dude, with the oh, truck. The truck. Dude, yeah. The, the Uso guy with are, the Lucha Libre mask. What's his name? Uh, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. That shit was dope. He's like, he's fighting his son. They've had this huge storyline for the last year where his son has like gone off the deep end. Like he's a bad guy now. And he's like, he just disrespects his dad. And his dad is like, I'm not going to fight my son. And then the son, Ray, uh, Dom, disrespected his mom in front of Ray and Ray yeeted his ass. And now they're wrestling at WrestleMania. God. I can't wait. God, I love your buy-in. You can't buy dis disrespect the mom, man. Bad ball. I can't do it. Holy shit. <laughs> so it's going to be awesome. I'm very excited for it. It's in LA, SoFi Stadium. And I love that you know the storylines. Oh, yeah. Dude, I follow everything. I don't watch like I don't watch every you know Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown. But like I, always, like I follow all the accounts I need to on Twitter. So like I see everything just through my feed. Awesome. It's, it's great stuff. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. That's going to be a high flying event. Logan Paul's fantastic, too. Dude, Logan's crushing it. Crushing it. Killing it. He's a, I didn't realize how good of an athlete he was. Yeah, bro. I didn't realize. I he thought was he was a, a normal uh, dude. He was a stud football player and wrestler going, growing up. Because I was following him back when he was on Vine. So did That's I. where he got hot. Yeah, he was getting. Yeah. RIP Vine. RIP Vine, dude. That was, that was the best. That was the best. That was awesome. There were two Iowa football players that, um, for like a two month time period, were the, uh, they were top three in Vine and views and follows. And then uh, they made them stop doing it because they said it was distracting from their work. This was during the summer too. Summer workouts was pretty lame. That that was college. That was the landscape no of college ball on. back then. Yeah, it's the I mean, Bo was wanting to take now. Twitter I, away. I can't if if oh yeah we didn't we couldn't use Twitter. That's Iowa. what I'm saying. Like back then, you're like it was very like uh, it was a slippery slope. Control the narrative. Yeah, That's about all it is. Yeah, I just can't imagine like if they if like it was today and like they were a top three Viner or TikToker, they would be making over a million dollars. Yeah, you oh. would, you wouldn't be able to take it from them. I don't think today. Would no, you? today, no, no, not with the nil stuff. You couldn't physically, no. but like the stuff they were doing was so creative and so funny. I was, I look back at it and I'm just like, that, like you guys would be making five hundred thousand dollars minimum. No, oh, so, I was trying to get Vine famous back in the day. I know you probably you're were. naked and afraid. One is so funny. <laughs> I'm just naked and afraid at this point. <laughs> It's I'll, him, I'll show you after. It's him curled up in a ball, naked <laughs> in front of the mirror, just by a, a, a plant in the house, like being like I'm out in the woods. And I'm just naked. It's so stupid. It is so fine, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm dude. sitting like this, and there's a plant next to me, and I just pan the camera around to where you see my ass crack in the mirror, and then the, you see the plant, and it just goes in my face. I'm like, I'm so naked and afraid at this point. <laughs> dude, I did, a, I did a vine that was like a five-part series of two detectives looking for a cheese bandit. Love that. And plot twist at the end was the cheese bandit was actually our uh, our chief captain at the, uh, the police station. <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> no, no, it was my buddy, my oh, buddy's funny. brother Jack. It was so series. dumb, dude. If you watch it, and then we first. uploaded it wrong too, so it went from the the ending to the. It was just. Dude, I hit a, a force choke video once. Like Logan stole my protein shake, and he's like, "Will please no," and I fucking put my hand out, and then you know how you could chop it the whole time. He's like, "Ah!" Oh! Back into the wall. It was fucking sick, dude. I, I'm I've talking that one. Ten vine work. No, I've seen that one before. Have you? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I don't. Know. I randomly fall into vine, um, just. Hole black holes. I love dude, I just, Vine was the fun. It was fantastic. so funny, dude. dude. There was so and it was only six seconds, right? Seven. Seven. Excuse me. You had to be a little you early. To, <laughs> 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 okay, Georgie boy. Hi. <laughs> what a way to end the show. Yeah, this was a good this was a good episode, a quality Again, episode. Quality. It's quality. Get in, get off, get out. No question. Mm. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, always. We, we will be doing more. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys got? Is the back of the bus invited to Kittle Fest? Oh, yeah, for sure, boys. Yeah. Tell us. All right, hey, listen. All you do is ask. George is about as... I'm easy. The variety of his friends. Like, last year at Kittle Fest, I'm meeting a group, and I'm like, oh, how do you guys know George? And like, oh, we're from New York. We met him on Instagram. And they're like, they're like you were in the Instagram chat, too, but you left it. Captain like, Kirk, baby. He's like, George would respond to every meme we had. So if you guys are, everybody's listening, you want to deal with George Kittle. It is not that <laughs> it's hard. Not that hard. It's not that hard, man. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's one that we're in this year and I was making sure to kind of respond to everything. I don't even know what one that is. No, it's them. Captain it's Kirk. It's the same one? Yeah, you're good. 
All right, yeah. good deal. They're, but I met this funny. crew, and I'm like, what? And then you go to another group, and they're like, oh, yeah, where's Xbox Live Party? Dude, George is fucking, I love it. <laughs> he scans it all, bro. I'm just a kid, dude. I, I you was, really are. I just like that fun. Bring but. your friends around. Oh, that's busting with the boys. Yeah, that's busting with the boys. Subscribe, right? Five stars. Big oh, tiny kisses. kisses.